Good evening and welcome to New York Crypto Talk. Tonight's topic of discussion is a user requested token, Argent Trail, also followed under the symbol TRAC, track, also known as Trace. So I am going to be reviewing this. I did not know about this before. I did see some mentions on Twitter, but I haven't done my research until today. So I spent a few hours going through the white paper, going through the uh, medium pages, through their social media, um, as well as all the background in regards to their team uh, to see as far as the validity of this project, what the long-term projections might be and where do I see this project going and if I'm going to invest or if I think other people should obviously not financial advice but my own opinions on uh, as far as the validity and the the future of this so origin trail is basically a supply chain process um, that was is set up to um, connect the inter uh, the non-connected supply chain management basically so it is going to be linking what's currently siloed right now in the supply chain structure um, and basically providing an interoperability on the supply chain uh, management so right now there are many uh, data silos existing across the supply chain and even within organizations um, data in interoperability say that one three times quick um, IT provides providers wanting to establish a full supply chain visibility have no common ground for collaborative data exchange so right now there's inefficient decentralized solutions there um, in order to provide performance scalability and trust for these interconnected data in supply chains uh, that are cost effective so that's where Arjun Trail comes in they want to provide interoperability and automatic data connections between multiple supply chain or organizations with consensus mechanisms um, basically uh, quality assurance ensuring that the data is um, correct so they want to, their solution is going to uh, allow for performance cost and scalability uh, controls so it'll be quick it'll be cheaper and it'll be scalable so uh, by basing it on the blockchain all these things will kind of help and reduce the cost provide more uh, performance ish uh, for the company and allow for more transactions the scalability to go up so I had previously done some research on ship chain. Um, I do believe supply chain management and um, things along those lines are definitely going to be heading towards the uh, blockchain in the future because of the multiple transactions. The, the beginning to end process is very siloed. I do believe that. Um, just personally, if anybody has ever ordered anything from Amazon, you order six different things on one day in one order, it's the same order number, it'll get split up into five, six different boxes at some times. You know, you might not, even if you choose to get them all at the same time, they still might come at different days because they're in different warehouses and then they lose things and, you know, there's so many pieces of the puzzle when it comes to supply chain management. Um, and this goes for all industries when it comes to supply chain management. So obviously this uh, interoperability in this, uh, in this area is a huge, huge uh, piece of the pie. So uh, Origin Trail looks to help align those different pieces and connect them so that it's much easier uh, to get from A to Z um, and to be able to track from A to Z. So I'm pulling up, they have an overview document. So this is not a white paper, it's just an overview document. So I guess this is more for most people without the tech skills to be able to read into the coding and the different layers and the protocols and the white paper. Um, this shows like a high level view of where they are. Um, they are a previous company, you know, they have experience, they have vendors already. They're just moving from the um, 
old mainstream way of doing things, supply chain to blockchain. So here you can see their previous, they, they've been around since 2013, um, and they started with the beef industry, then they went to dairy in 2014, uh, and into vegetables and um, poultry. Um, previously, they were working with SAP and ERP, which I'm also a big fan of uh, getting into the blockchain because those are integrating with those things, obviously are a, a huge thing uh, for the future. Um, so in 2016, they started looking into blockchain. Uh, the conception was built. And in Q1, they began an initial, initial implementation with the Ethereum test network. So they started playing around with it with their uh, existing users. Uh, in Q3, uh, they linked them to the Ethereum main network. So they were able to do transactions through the Ethereum network using the tokens. So, um, they talk about the challenges here. Uh, basically, data is fragmented, data silos and load data interoperability exist across the supply chain in both multi-organization and single organization supply chains. This is crucial technical challenge for various IT providers for supply chains, software and IoT that needs to be resolved in order to collaborate and establish a full supply chain transparency. So all these different areas, primary producer, processing, distribution, warehousing, retailer, all of these are broken up into pieces. They're not connected. They're not being able to see each other's different steps. What they want to be able to do is connect all of these different steps and have them in one platform, all traceable, and being able to manage it from the beginning to the end. Right now, everything from supply chain data is centralized. They wanted to decentralize it, um, which will uh, prevent data tampering and collusion between parties um, by creating a decentralized system. We establish an environment of complete accountability for all data as we, uh, as well as entirely remove the possibility of data tampering. So basically everything is fully available. Um, they do mention, I believe, ZK uh, uh, zero knowledge proof ZK snark uh, data for certain things. Um, I think it's in the white paper, uh, but there are some security protocols that they do plan on putting in place depending on, I guess, what layer or uh, what vendors they're working with. But for the most part, it is decentralized. Uh, it is open. Um, and here you talk, you see the different layers and how they kind of work things out. So there's an application layer. The application is built on top of the ODN. Uh, network capabilities and presents the ground for implementing the consumer facing instances decentralized applications um, and this is the ODN uh, network layer and then there's a data layer and then there's the blockchain layer so uh, you guys can read into this obviously there's different uh, complexities when it comes to the different layers um, most products will have these different layers uh, built into their uh, standard model um, and here it kind of talks about how all these different areas will then flow through, um, connect up to the decentralized origin trail network, have a fingerprint which is then connected to the blockchain. Um, and I believe the fingerprinting, now oh, it's somewhere, uh, I will get to it. So they, they talk about fingerprinting onto the, uh, okay, here we go. So the, the blockchain allows uh, the origin trail network to utilize different blockchains for fingerprinting, which provides flexibility and ensures longevity of the protocol by not having blockchain lock into one single platform. So I guess what this means is uh, obviously they're looking to get on their own main net, so it won't be on the Ethereum network, which it is right now. So I guess where the protocol not having a blockchain lock-in, that means I guess it's going to be able to work with other systems um, or it, eventually APIs will be able to build it so it can work with other systems. I'm not sure. Um, that might be something to look uh, further into. And then here you can see the different system overview. These are the different systems inbound and outbound they have here. So supply chain, uh, they'll take stuff from a, an ERP software, processor, distributor ERP retailer they'll take it in it'll go through the decentralized network 
and then different things will there's outbound um, processes here you can see there's an API uh, for certification alerts origin of products compliance recall so all these different things there's inbound and outbound sources to these networks um, so I guess they'll be able to offer alerts certifications origin of products compliance recalls which is awesome so these will either go out to vendors um, these will go out to consumers whoever needs to utilize the um, the network or different decentralized applications which is very cool um, and then here you kind of talk about the the token on ethereum right now the trace token means the compensation between supply chain data producers and data consumers on one side of the Arjun trail node holders on the other it provides the incentive to the nodes in the peer-to-peer -peer network to perform the system functionalities. So obviously it is a utility token, so the utility token can be used for discovering and connecting um, functionality, supply chain consensus checks, so validating data, uh, data quality, data replication, um, data storage and management, filtering and delivering supply chain data. So all these different things are utilized with the token. So people are going to be um, either staking them to provide this data um, and give it back to the network. And then here, is you, as I just mentioned, tokenized data ownership, creating models where data is sold up and down the supply chain using trace will be created. Uh, this is essentially uh, especially important for primary producers where production data is to be a valuable asset that is currently insufficiently addressed. Okay, that makes no sense. <laughs> um, this is especially important for primary producers where production data is to be is to be a valuable asset that is currently insufficiently addressed. Okay, so I guess the primary producers, I guess, of the the, the product they're talking about. Okay, using applications built on top of the Argon uh, trail uh, protocol they can take control over their data ownership and earn trace from providing it to the industry partners gotcha reputation system um, share reviews of, on products and services and contribute to the reputation system very cool uh, consumer engagement trace tokens will be awarded to end consumers in exchange for interaction with products and services all right so they got a lot of stuff going on with this token uh, roadmap so we'll try to speed through this. I don't want to keep this going too much. Um, upcoming, obviously, we had our crowd sale. It is now on the exchanges. I'll go through the exchanges. It's on two right now. I believe it's IDEX and Ether Delta, uh, trading in the thirty cent range. Uh, I'll show, pull it up in a minute. But for their uh, February roadmap, there is a new office opening up with Asian markets, beta test with partners. Um, they have a trade alliance. March, it says token distribution. Um, so I'm not really sure about that token distribution. I guess um, some of them are maybe that their main tokens. I'm not sure because I believe their test network isn't until Q2. So I wonder what this token distribution is because the ERC 20s are out, at least for some people. Um, so Origin Trail test network launches in Q2. That's awesome. Uh, they're going to be doing live cases using the protocols and they'll provide the first open call for use cases very cool and then there's going to be the main net in q3 and then going into the future there's uh, iot stuff u.s offices um, india africa middle east offices also set up um, what do we have here going into 2019 obviously they're kind of generic um, things with open calls partners protocol updates so it's not really uh, specific past 2018 uh, but I'm sure there will be a lot of things going on uh, within the roadmap and here you see the different crowd sale the future development um, and the bounties and where everything goes uh, this is more information about their team so uh, as far as their team is concerned uh, a lot of the people on their main team are very young um, I didn't really see anything that popped out personally um, as far as their experience uh, the only thing that really popped out to me is more, more of their advisors uh, as I, the supply chain integrity and standards advisor this guy uh, John Kof 
Um, I think Ken Leon uh, was a UPS, uh, worked in the UPS. So, you know, looking at some of these advisors, I think they do have some really awesome uh, advisors, IoT, supply chain tech, um, integrations, fintech, uh, legal. As far as their main team, uh, they seem like they have strong backgrounds. They just don't have as much experience uh, from major companies, at least, um, which is fine because a lot of the companies that we see nowadays are still coming out from um, younger teams. Uh, I mean, come on, Zuckerberg. All right. Um, as far as awards go, uh, they just got it recently announced that they were awarded the Walmart Food Safety Innovation Spark Award. Um, I believe only 12 uh, startups were selected and Origin Trail was the only blockchain startup to be uh, awarded it. It is basically um, Walmart in already invest heavily in the application of blockchain. Uh, and through uh, transparency of tr supply chains. It's Food Safety Collaboration Center in China reorganized Origin Trail's potential for bringing transparency to supply chains where there's a huge untapped potential for increasing efficiencies on the global level. So kudos to you guys, that was awesome. Um, they actually have, if you go to their website, there's a, a section that says use cases. You actually kind of see what they're planning on doing. You can click on different products. Um, and what it'll do is kind of show you, I guess, where the where things are supposed to go um, as far as how it's going to look. So here you see full fat milk, 3.5%. Um, I don't know what this is, one liter. Um, and then it tells you where it is. Uh, this is where it was produced and then where it was processed and then, you know, where it should land up. Uh, land. So, you know, it's kind of the the tra the traceability. Um, there's different things that you can check um, on this site where the different producers are, um, and then where it gets processed. So, obviously, it's not the beginning to end here, but you get the idea. Uh, I went through the roadmap already. Uh, the white paper definitely uh, take a good read at it. Uh, as I mentioned before, a lot of the stuff is already in the overview document. Um, as far as the token is concerned right now, uh, there is no market cap um, documented here, but it is 290 million circulating supply, uh, and it's about $3.56, which I believe I calculated to about $103 million market cap right now uh, with the circulating supply of 290 million, as I said. So if we go to... Um, Coin market cap and look for was it 103. So give or take 160. Ooh, above Trinity. Um, so the coin market cap would put it about 160 on uh, the ranking. Uh, it came out of the gate only a couple of days ago at around 15 cents. Really cheap, man. Um, wish I knew about it then. But it is sitting at 35 cents right now, which is still a great deal, uh, especially with the market cap so low and the potential for this uh, to kind of go through uh, the roof. Markets right now is IDEX and Ether Delta, so definitely check those out. Um, check out their social media; they're very, very, um, you know, up on their social media right now. There's a lot of ICO drops going on. Don't believe in it. Uh, stay away from any ICO drops. Most places don't do ICO drop. Um, not ICO, just uh, airdrops. Please stay away from airdrops, guys. Um, you know, always do your own research. So, uh, will I be investing in it? I will most likely take a peek and see what I have in my portfolio. I wish I could have sold stuff in my portfolio, but everything is so slow. Everything is so low. Market caps under 500 billion, guys. So selling things, I'd be selling things at a very, very low profit, even though I could be getting into this and making better profits once things return. I don't know. Um, I definitely think it's an awesome project. If I had the funds, I would definitely be jumping into this. Obviously, not financial advice. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about uh, the track. Origin Trail Token. All right, guys, have a great evening.